invoked a lot of passion between you know and the electorate so if you're registered to vote you don't have to worry about that if there's something you want to speak your mind you know I encourage you to to do that and you have to register to, to be able to do that right I'm just Ely. I'm in District 1. District 1 is uh, three precincts here in the city of Ashton. So, um, Ashton County resident and uh, I graduated class of 91 from uh, Morgan Mount Academy. So, I went to, uh, went to JU4 actually, uh, kindergarten through second grade. So, none of you were been here since JU4 has been open, but uh, it was part of 377 school district at one time. I think we're all represented Moore Hill, Effingham, and Atchison. So we got yeah. all three schools. Yeah. I guess I didn't really introduce myself. I'm Eric Knoll. I'm from uh, Effingham. I just live a mile west of Effingham. Uh, lifelong farmer. Um, went to school at, at ACCHS. My whole whole career. We kind of I, I, I started in this a little bit like what's going on now. Uh, my neighbor, uh, Mike Bodenhausen. He was former commissioner. Uh, he had to uh, he had a change of jobs and and decided to withdraw from being a commissioner commissioner and so I was contacted by friends and neighbors when they were hunting a replacement and I was selected and and uh, lucky enough to to get the position so that's now going to happen with uh, in this case in this room tonight they will choose the successor to Mr. Sheely mm -hmm. so that's how that comes into play. Uh, I'm going to say our meetings are recorded, and this is a special time. I'm kind of announcing it to the the recording there that, uh, in due to the county government day, we have changed our schedule, and and we actually convened the meeting into order this morning in the courtroom. We had presentations there, and now we will proceed with the agenda. Okay, I don't know what I did with mine. I thought it was here. Okay, first thing we uh, need to approve the minutes. Has everybody had a chance to read the minutes? When we, re we have the minutes in there, they need to be printed and reviewed, and then they become the actual copy of, of what transpired in the meeting before. So. This is the becomes official record once we approve the minutes. I see no corrections or additions. Mr. Chairman, I, I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. Do I hear a motion to accept the minutes from uh, the meeting on Tuesday, April 18th? I so move, Mr. Chairman. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Same sign. Uh, oh, we, we need uh, Michelle here. Well, it, she's in the tour. You're going to have to make some notes. Uh, shouldn't we have Linda come over? I thought Linda was gone, but you may check. I think Linda was here. Okay. We're also recording, so I mean, there's a record of. So we uh, we observed Robert's Robert's rules of order. So if you get a chance, you can kind of review that. Are, are any of you taking like government or civics classes currently? Yeah. Robert's rules of orders are used by majority. There's still some other variations of it, but. Uh, you know, what you can do is you can sign with the agenda. The agenda's um, on our county website. We typically have it up by, you know, Friday. So, like, end of this week, we'll have the next meeting's agenda typically set by that time. So. I made the motion to approve the minutes. Mr. Shane is second. Thank you. And approve I'm sorry, I, I had a little group, and I had to do a brief introduction, and then I, I left everything with my deputy, so. Well, this, this is time. Michelle Phillips, uh, county clerk, newly elected county clerk. Okay. Now, what did I do with? There it is. Okay. Has there been any uh, commissioner comments and committee reports? I have none. You have uh, adult, adult correction coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. tomorrow. I have none, Mr. Chairman. Okay, and I, I have nothing to report there. Uh, we've got 15 minutes before Corey's supposed to be here. Let me so show them how they can access. The sure. 
Sure. So, uh, uh, real simple, uh, atchisoncountyks.org is our website. And uh, we're, we're in the middle, I think, of redesigning the website. But um, if you ever want to find out about like the meeting, you just go to government and this uh, county commission agenda and minutes. And it will pull up. You'll have to scroll down to the date, the county commission regular meeting. So if you just really bear with me, this mouse is not it doesn't respond very well. Oh. It's just the signal. So here is today's agenda. You saw the call to order, uh, pledge of allegiance. And if you click on, you want to see what we just approved in minutes. Well, it's just, I think it's matter of signal. Uh, these are the minutes from the prior meeting that we just approved. How come the, how come the camera's So, um, they're typically about a page. It's just that monitor is done. Yeah. Um, so any action or anything that we did in the prior meeting is on there. So we have to prove that at the following meeting, that any additions or corrections that we had to make um, to those minutes. But um, as you can see, typically we line up the uh, agenda. So at 1045, we show Corey Scott with uh, our emergency, our EMS director, uh, to prepare an ambulance. So we can have it stacked with lots of different things. Sometimes we'll have some older unfinished business. Um, and then uh, if we are going to discuss the quarterly maintenance, I guess, for the complex. And then the county counselor's not up to, not here today. So any updates that we have from the county counselor, um, it can range from a lot of things. Um, probably the big topic right now is we have a tax sale coming up. Um, is that May? Second, third. Second, third. Wednesday. Yeah, so next Wednesday we have a big tax sale. I think there's still probably about what, 70 some parcels? Yeah. Quite a few, quite a few parcels, back taxes from residential to commercial, industrial to vacant lots. Um, but any updates from the counselor, and then we, we do reserve a time for public comment after that. And then um, the other part of our, uh, we can have exec sessions over certain topics. Uh, we do that towards the end typically, and then uh, any presentation like uh, memorials, petitions, remonstrances, um, or any resolutions. We've done some, here recently we've done some resolutions like um, uh, any type of law or change, if we change the speed limit on roads would be a good example, or any type of change like public policy. So that's pretty easy to find. You just get on the website, you can find lots of stuff. Really? Oh, okay. So if you want to go, we have minutes all the way back to 2003. Right? We ought to have the students announce their names so they'll Excellent. be in the minutes students next students. week. Are we going to do that with every group? Yes, yeah, so if you want to see what happened. And I don't think we'll have it. Maybe, I don't know. I think there'll be several groups. Oh, that yeah. to, uh, we could just do that. I think we're about to be done here. Though. Okay. About an hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you can go back and see what happened on November 21st, 2003. Madam Clerk, why don't we get a sign-up sheet so at the end of today's meeting then those students' names will be in next week's minutes that we're attending our commission meeting? Okay. okay. Uh. I guess we can jump ahead to here um, since it's 15 minutes. I want to uh, jump ahead to uh, the Martin Trash uh, Service invoice. And we've been putting this on hold until we had more information and everything on the dumpster damages that were incurred. Uh, I did talk with uh, oh. Austin this week and proposed to him that since we are purchasing a new dumpster that we get the old one and at first he was hesitant but he did call me back and agree to that term um, since this is coming out of the solid waste budget i think that uh, stacy ought to have the option if she wants to use the dumpster that it would go to her department wouldn't it I mean, Seth had expressed an interest, but I mean, I, I think that since her budget's paying for the 
the dumpster. I think she does have a use for it. Wouldn't that be the logical or, place for it? Or transfer funds, the value from mm -hmm. Roden Bridge to... If, if he so chooses to make right. a deal with her, that would Correct. be between them. Correct. So um, if that is um, the terms that it sounds like everybody's agreed on, then uh, is there any more discussion on what would happen with this uh, invoice or, or anything? Um, I'll remind you, since it's been a while, the total bill was for $7,300. And this has been going on since February 14th. So, you know, this has been going on quite a while. So on the one that we're having repaired, we're just going to cut them a check, and then they're going to take care of the repair and purchase the dumpster. Yes, the, okay. the $7,300 will take care of the repair and the purchase of the new one to replace that one, and then we will get the old one that's in disrepair for use at solid waste however they just seemed deemed to be able to use it so i guess our, our do i hear a motion to accept those terms and and accept pay the seventy three hundred dollars to martin trash so i second it, mr chairman it's been moved and seconded all in favor say aye aye, aye. all opposed pass three zero Put that so Michelle can keep them in the record. Do we discuss the uh, coming corn deal? Or is that executive session about the what? damages? We don't want to put that on the camera. I don't think. What damages? On these ground from packing these ground, right? Well, I don't. That's not on the agenda. I know. But we need Pat here for that problem. Yeah, I think we need. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't. You know, when you went to new business over this, I didn't know if you wanted to bring that up. Well, I guess it could be discussed very generally, but I don't know. Um, something else on here is uh, the sports complex. Uh, have you been in touch with? I sent an email out to all members of the ASAF board, and I haven't had a response back from anybody. So I have. We haven't had a meeting since uh, February, so I have nothing to report, unfortunately. Nobody has responded to me. I also told them to contact uh, Michelle um, no response. To, get on the, to get on the agenda or schedule. So. Uh, do you think it would warrant that we would say that payments are going to be withheld until we get some response, or is that too strong? or? Uh, I don't I mean, feel it. I, I feel that that will get their attention, and I don't feel that it's too strong. Yeah, I mean, I mean we're, if we're not getting any response, I mean, you, you have to offer something or mm -hmm. th threaten, for lack of a better word. Uh, of, you know, we, we definitely, I think, are within our realm of, you know, asking them to come forward. So, mm -hmm. no, I mean, it's their game, I think, as Councillor Henderson you know, alluded to last week. We can, you know, she was one to make that payment. And then um, do you want to still make, can send them another email over that order? Or, I mean, you know, we're getting to, you know, I don't know when this transition will be, but. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of, I'll send out another, uh, I'll send another email. This is in regards to the sports complexes here in uh, Atchison and at Effingham. The county passed, what year would that have been when they passed the one cent sales tax? What was it? One cent? They issued the bonds in 2007, so it was probably voted on 2006. All 2006. That would probably be my guess. Yeah, they would have been voted on, but they would, the payments started in 2008. 
so that, again that's how county government uh, can get involved with yeah. you know things that are kind of diverse you know you wouldn't think maybe we're involved with the sports complex well that's the county is the vehicle which they basically went through to procure funds to to make this happen it was taken I guess by petition to wasn't it petitioned to take this to a vote of the county residents yeah it was voted on but it was by that's how it originated correct was a uh, petition was taken to yeah I believe so you had a percentage of population voting population to approve to go to election ballot. I'm sorry there's two ladies out here I knew I didn't recognize you over here they both work at Muscoda at the new restaurant so. the new restaurant oh the well they uh, they're on the main street the uh, you know it's pretty nice I don't get out there as often as I should but anyway that was a little on the side. So uh, part of this is the bonds uh, have also paid uh, some maintenance fees for uh, the ASAF runs the uh, maintenance here at the Atchison facility. ACCHS 377 runs the maintenance at, at Effingham ball field. And so we're just asking the ASAF to come forward and, and kind of give us some uh, overview of expenditures and things that they've had had incurred over the last year since they've been here last. And uh, so it's just part of that. Do students have any questions for us? No? We've got some time here. <laughs> I do have uh, something really on the the Dare Beach, uh see that the Maria Hall the the veterans plaque did you guys both see that yes okay so um, that um, that is a collective effort collaborative effort by um, individual uh, donors uh, to come up with that I'm not sure um, uh, Mr. Berger Rick Berger had contacted me about maybe coming up to commission me I haven't heard from him is coming up today but um, I believe they have um, all the amounts I'm not sure what the total amount was on getting the plaque so um, if you go down Warrior Hall on the west side west front um, there's a plaque dedicated to all World War One Atchison County um, uh, veterans um, that died and then um, on the the east side is where the new plaques going it's much gonna be much larger but it's basically from World War Two on to today and um, I believe they've collected a majority of funds there, um, and I think Mr. Berger is going to come up. I don't know if he's, I didn't see him on the agenda or, or scheduled, but um, I believe he was, um, I think they got majority of the money collected for it. Um, I believe they were wanting to see if Atchison County could chip in $1,000 towards, to, to complete the project, um, and that would enable it to I think we've manufacture. Voted, we voted on that and okay. I know we discussed it, but I. I we never I, did bring it to vote? No, I don't think we did to vote, but I know we discussed it, but I just wanted to relay that in case Mr. Berger cannot make it. I know he had some meetings this morning, and we had obviously changed the schedule with yeah. county government day, so um, I just wanted to relay that and if we wanted to discuss that. or sure. um, I, I think they, majority of private funds, I think they, more Hall Board Trustees kicked in as well. I think they, um, I think they were talking with City of Atchison chip in too. So I mean, I think they got majority of private donations, probably 85, 90 percent of those private donations. So I think the black cost was was twenty thousand. I think. Wow. wow. It's bronze and it's big. It's, it'll be bigger than the other one that you'll see down there. So I just wanted to bring that up. Mm -hmm. Do you want to act on it now or? That's fine. I mean, I'd. I'd entertain a motion to uh, donate a thousand dollars towards finishing the uh, Memorial Hall um, plaque, bronze plaque for um, veterans from World War II um, to today that have died in Ashley County. I second that motion, Mr. Chairman. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Pass three zero. Funds to come out of County General. Yeah, we can do County General. I'm sure, we can commissioners could do it out of our own. We're in County General, so I'm fine with. That. That's fine. Which way? Commissioners? Yeah. Okay. We probably need to get a balance, you know, see where we're at, too, though. Sure. Uh, 
uh, a couple weeks ago, um, when we were talking about the uh, insurance uh, auditor that came around and inspected the facilities, and the question that came up about the uh, the facilities at Effingham were not on the county list. You know, even you know it's so it was unknown quite for sure whether those facilities and improvements on the facilities were covered. And I did get a response from Mr. Wiseman from 377 and said that they are on the 377. Uh, they're covered. They're right? covered under their insurance. Okay. Uh, I did want a copy made for, you know, something happened down the road that we had reached out and made sure of that and that the response was noted. And I think, that, Michelle, I had asked you in an email, uh, things like that, are they, can you, like, archive uh the email for or how do we preserve this so if we ever had a question come up that you know we did have a response on this well, i'm sure we have some kind of insurance folder don't we that we could stick that in because there's going to be a change out there according to the globe mr wiseman's retiring or yes yeah this response was from him but you know in in a few years he's gone and and if things change and there would be a, a a problem and the, well it wasn't covered well you know we we did have we did reach out and, and double check on that so I'll put that back in the folder then for you Michelle how uh, do you know how long that these rotations are, are going to be for the students um, they're going to rotate from office to office aren't they I don't. I didn't have anybody actually coming in here other than those that are coming to the meeting. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I shut the door and I didn't realize it didn't hit the door. In the past, been 15 or 20 minute rotation. But I figured this would be all we'd have. Oh, I thought I thought the uh, students were going to rotate in groups, aren't they? They are, but we're not interesting enough for them to come talk to us. I guess. <laughs> I didn't actually have them coming here because I didn't want it to interrupt the meeting too much. Oh, okay. If you get done early, this group can definitely go through the rotation. Okay. We can, I, can I think we're ready to record it now. I'm probably more than happy to, to take the, the group and go through the rotation because she doesn't actually have her own group. Oh, okay. And she was here, so I can definitely go ask her if you would like me to. Okay. Play it by your, so I mean, whenever you think that that's. Okay. Because they'll probably be leaving. In less than an hour, about 11:30, I think they're going to be leaving to go to the office. Okay, uh, Corey, it's a little early, but we'll be ready for you. Come on up. We got a PO. This is on the uh, previous annual damage from Texing. Update on that. Uh, K Camp, talk to them after the last time we met about this. Mm -hmm. Our K Camp representative said, Don't worry about it, send me a copy of the service agreement. We will cut the check and uh, we will handle the pet same side of it on any uh, any money they owe. So, K, or, uh, K Camp already cut us the check minus the deductible. It's at the body shop, just waiting your approvals. Okay. Repair collision damages on ambulance 793 and the total amount of $3,133. That's the same estimate I brought the last time we talked about this. What's our deductible on? $500. So I already have the check in hand for the $3,133 minus $500, which would be $2,600, $133. So then you'll give it to the treasurer, then she'll put it back into your payment right. fund. And we'll write a check to the body shop. Yeah, and K Camp stepped up and said, you know what, we'll handle that end of it. Don't worry about it, we'll check your check. So anything to do with. Going up, so anything on that is handled by them. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Very Excellent. happy to hear that they, they stepped right up on that. Have you heard anything on the uh, loaner ambulance? Yes, uh, the loaner ambulance is back. They replaced the number eight injector. There was a technical service bulletin on it. 
uh, the injector, especially the number eight is different because of the way it's angled in the truck. And uh, they put the newer style in it, reflash the computer, brought it back. Uh, Bill went to professional ambulance, they're going to pay it, it's just shy of $1,000, I think it's nine thirteen and change. Um, the ambulance did come back running better, but it still has a rough idle. I'm a little concerned that it may need a whole set of injectors. But the mechanic also told me he thinks it had biodiesel in it and it sat for a long time. And uh, his recommendation was to get diesel back into it, start running injector cleaner, cetane booster, and see if it smooths out. So, but we are currently using it. It runs, it runs okay, just idles rough. So, I am a little concerned. You know, we talked about purchasing that. I am a little concerned. It's going to need a set of injectors at some point. If if whatever killed that number eight injector happened to be the biodiesel rotten in it, it might have killed all of them. So, okay, is a little concerned about that. So we got to vote on if we accept the check, or we don't vote on. We don't have to have a motion on this, do we? I think you do because it's it's over the twenty five hundred dollar threshold, so you do have to have a motion and sign it. Am I wrong? To actually do the work. Well, we haven't got the check. He's yes, got I the have the check in hand. I have the KK check. It says on my desk. But this is the well, the we'd, be, we'd be okay in the five hundred bucks then. Basically. Correct. Yeah, but since the the check in the body shop would be over my twenty five hundred dollar threshold, I had to get your approval on it. I see. Okay, do I hear a motion to accept the uh, PO in the amount of $3,133 uh, to repair the damage on the ambulance? And who is who will this actually go to? Fender Mender? Yeah, that was uh, both the shop that would accept the work. The shops here in town both turned the work down. They wouldn't even estimate it, so. Okay, I saw move, Mr. Chairman. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass 3-0. We discussed this in the past. I think the ambulance, of course, we've got so many funds, but I would like to see a fund where the, 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 the people that use our servers pay our money, go into account, and so we can keep track, and then what goes out of that account. But we don't have that set up like that. That's not set up. I need to do some further research on that. From the research Wes had done prior to my arrival, we're not sure that's legal. That. Uh, the way we're set up right now that it has to go into the general fund and that is just my understanding of it not necessarily a fact at this point so we'd have to do some more research on that to see if that's even something we can do well we all pull money out of the same bucket but it'd also be nice to have that money in the bucket that that service is generated when it's time to replace something we have the money right there yeah where it goes in the county general i mean it's all but it makes county it money but difference if it to I mean if if it's actually where it's put or if it was just in an accounting so we knew there was this much money had came from there I mean yeah, that's what I'm wondering if I did the, did the research on it can we just number it different it's yes, still that's county general but it's that sub account that's all good and fine and dandy but then if it goes in county general well we need this we need this we got the we, we we know what we made, but we don't have the money to show. Mm -hmm. We don't have the money. Where if we had an own account, that money would stay in that account. Yeah, I, I, like I said, it's just my understanding of what Wes has given me from it's, his research. It's illegal to do that. I don't. I don't yeah. get that. I think if we were an ambulance district, and you know had a, a separate board of governors and levied our own taxes, that would be okay. But where we're coming out of the county general, and you're the board, I'm not sure that's to let us do that. But it's something I can easily research. It's no problem at all. I would consider that. Okay, anything else? Well, we talked a little bit upstairs. Right now, you're leaning more not towards purchasing the ambulance and, and to see how we get along. And Because, yes, I'd like to add another ambulance, but I don't want to add something that's going to be, you know, cost us every yeah. two weeks is going to cost us more money. My thought on it right now, I've kept my ear to the ground with the salesperson. There's no pending bids or offers on that truck. Let's see how it does for a while longer. We're going to have it probably till May. Mm -hmm. Shake it down some more and I say we table it, see how it does. If it yeah. drops another injector, then, then we know it's not a good idea. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's uh, sounds statement. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get, even if it would happen to sell 
I mean, we're really not out of anything. I mean, no. it was just, it's just kind of an opportunity that's presenting in itself, and we just may have to, like you say, play it by ear and see where it goes. Yeah, I actually talked to the salesman yesterday, and he, he said he had nothing pending on that unit, so. And they may be more desperate to sell it by the time we get ready to be done with it. The price may come down. Well, they may not want to transport it back mm -hmm. to where it came from. Yeah, because they're going to have to pay to take it back to Texas. Okay. Can't take it. Not too forward. Shake your hand. Hey, thank you. Wish you the best, and thank it's you. been a pleasure working with yeah, you. Yeah, pleasure working with you. You're a great job. Well, thank you. Appreciate Bye it. Back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, I, I will. Yeah, great presentation. I, I, <laughs> I will say one. I will say yeah. one thing. In 2016, I'm only assured that I made. I was part of one right decision. That was hiring you. I'm very impressed with you. how you're running stuff, and very impressed. I, I hope we can keep it going that way. I'm, that's where I'm, I'm that's happy our, with the results right now. But that's we're our still plan. In progress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have to, have to use the restroom. So. All right. We've got ten minutes before next agenda. As I say, who's on the agenda? Seth. Seth. Shelly. Shelly. Um, did you guys see what Shelly emailed out? I did print a copy. Yeah. Just in case you didn't see it or didn't want it to kind of be a threat. I didn't know what she needed printed. So this is last night. Mm -hmm. So I just printed one copy of everything, but I know she emailed it to her. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello. I don't. I have an appointment at eleven fifteen. You're fine. I'm fine. Okay. Commissioner Bell just went to the restroom, so we'll wait for him to get back and okay. crack her up. Did you guys get my email? Yes. Okay. Are there any Kleenexes on that? Yes. I did make one copy of everything in case you wanted to thank you for things, but I do have the sign pages that you said you have. Already. Yeah, I can't get sick. They don't do signatures till after the board approves it, so I'll have to come up yeah. next week and get that. So. But I tried to keep things mm -hmm. in order. How do you? I appreciate like packets. It. So um, there was a lot there to print. That com the, our conference room has like, packets laying everywhere. When I mentioned to you that I talked to Mr. Cottle and you said somebody else could possibly go in with you and they're paying a thousand dollars a month. Oh. Who was that? Parole. Parole. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now where are they at? <coughs> yeah. Uh, they're actually in our office, and oh. I mean, we're out of office space, and we're all full. So, because they have three officers. So we're paying nineteen, but they're giving us a thousand now, or they're willing to. We pay thirteen. Thirteen. And they're giving us a thousand. I mean, they don't pay like half the electric bill or nothing, so all that. I see. But you know, three people in the office doesn't really raise the electric bill up that much. Or, mm. So. But, yeah. Been busy in here today, but we couldn't. Mm -hmm. Too bad. I kind of kept them away from here. We had a couple that came in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that signed up for me with um, commissioners. And they sat through part of the meeting, but then I had Connie come in and take them. Because I didn't want it to not be able to go to them. Oh, to sure. Sure. So since then, Corey was able to bring the ambulance and the, the service. Uh, what is it, the first responder car? Mm -hmm. So he was able to bring that. Well, we all know they're side. going to be interested in the jail and the new ambulance. and Yeah. They'll yeah. touch the wall and they'll say the paint's dry and here it's time to go. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. <laughs> this is a very important office. Yes, yeah. it is. It's not always a fun office. No. No. <laughs> they don't see it as fun because, mm -hmm. you know. Ugh. <coughs> 
You know, I, I mentioned something to uh, Michelle this to you. Do you think we ought to inform uh, the government teachers next year, a couple weeks before the process of registering, and if they could pick their party so when they were here, or do we even have time to do that? Um, I actually am going to be sending out like a little survey. Um, I want to touch all the department heads. Um, I'd like to get a little bit more activity you know, with our department heads um, locally. Um, I know KAC does a lot to come and help. I mean, that's... that's I just, I, my fear is I don't know how interesting it is for the for the children of themselves as far as because he's with the state level. Um, but I want to also contact um, the high school government teachers. Um, I've been informed, I've been talking to one, and um, they actually do their government class in the fall. And he's like, in the springtime, I'm not even teaching government, so therefore this is irrelevant to where these kids are in their process. Um, so his, his, his liking would be to have it in the fall mm -hmm. um, to where we can provide a little bit more you know, even, I mean, I know Government Day is a specific day, um, but even if we can kind of provide a little bit more personality or person, you know, personal touch to the schools in general and just give each one their day. I, I did a rough, a I did a rough count and I come up about 80 and I think they were saying 139 plus. They didn't I don't know it. that um, Effingham brought as many um, children as they had anticipated. Um, I don't think Moore Hill showed up at all, did they? Moore Hill did not show mm -hmm. up. But we had one week to get everything done, and that's not going to happen next year. No. I'm sorry, but it's not I don't know, was that on, I don't know if that I'm, was on our end or, or the, their end or somebody's end, but, I received yeah. a, a affirmative notice that it was the 25th on last Monday evening after 5. So you we, sent the email right out after that. We did a fairly good job of getting <coughs> The information short out. term, mm -hmm. yeah, short time we had so to do it. I'd like to make it a little bit more productive for everyone involved, mm -hmm. county offices as well as the school students. Well, I actually think it turned out pretty well today so far. So, I mean, that's for short notice, you've done a very good job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, Shelly, do you have something for us? Yes, I just wanted to go over the FY18 comprehensive plan and the behavioral health grant. Did you guys receive the email I sent out last mm -hmm. week? Okay. You read it over, do you have any questions of me? I didn't, I couldn't think of anything. Okay, so then basically the highlights are, we want to reduce our revocation rates, up our success rate, that of course is our main goal. And then, you know, we plan to do that by doing more epics and office visits, doing a behavioral grid, so, so and so tested positive for the first time, this is what their sanction will be there's going to be a uniform, more uniformity towards it. And do an inter rater reliability. Make sure that when we're doing our wild, our LSIs, which are our risk needs, that we're doing them accurate and that everybody's scoring is scoring the same. And then that helps with our case plans, which, help, which helps with case management overall. So, so for the FY18 comp plan, <coughs> sorry. We were awarded $165,436 this year. That's $11,051 more than last year. So. That's about what we was cut the year before. We was cut 15, wasn't it? Uh, on so, the adult side? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, not on the adult side. We have taken hits on the adult side. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised that we got awarded 11,000 more. So, um, especially considering our success rate was not very well at the end of FY16, which Perfect. affects the FY18 grant. So, anyway, I got that all budgeted. You guys saw what it was outlined. Um, of course, you know, with personnel is always a, a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I plan with that extra 11,000 is to hire somebody part-time up front. So, so that's where the majority of that money will go. And then the FY18 behavioral <coughs> health grant, for FY17, we got $2,000. So for FY18, I'm requesting 5930 and hopefully I'll get 2000 is how that usually works. That money is going to go to help pay for drug and alcohol assessments. It's going to help pay for mental health assessments, any, dr any follow-up appointments for drug and alcohol or mental health, as well as med management, and for some medication for people for um, mental health issues. 
and we don't buy antibiotics for people or anything like that with a cold. It's, it's got to be for mental health issues. Um, there's a stay at an Oxford house. So when somebody gets out of treatment and they don't want to come back to Atchison, they still need help. We have a month's stay for an Oxford house for them. And it's kind of, it's, it's a big home where like six, seven people live in it. And you know, they attend NAAA, they go to work, they have to pay rent. So, but this kind of helps them get in the door and get on their own. It's kind of like a halfway house type of situation so, or yeah. assistance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, but that's, that is what we are doing with the money. And I know that you guys don't like to approve it until the board has approved it. So, um, that's tomorrow. Yeah. So I foresee no problem with them letting me turn in the signature sheet next week after Tuesday's meeting with you guys. If that's an issue, I will email you as soon as they call me back and let you know. And then maybe we can do an approval by phone. I don't know if you can do that. And then I can get the signature and get it to them by May 1st. But that would be Pat's avenue, I mean, of expertise. I don't know if we can do that. Okay. I, You know, it wasn't a problem last year, so I really don't think it'll be a problem this year because I'll have everything else turned in. It's just that signature page is what they're looking for. It's just harder to get the meeting moved up earlier in, into the month in order to hit the board and then you guys. So... Okay, if they if they want to if you want to try the meeting and they're they're not uh, up with the uh, not turning in the signatures, get a hold of Pat, okay. and Pat will be able to probably figure that out. And okay. he may say you can't could, do it. Could we take a vote today with the uh, adult corrections boards? Okay with it, and then go ahead and have that done. Correct, and I'll just state that it's an advisory board, um, so. And we could do a simple motion as long as it's it's uh, long as approval approved. with the advisory board. You know, the county commissioner can sign off on the comp plan. That would you be my suggestion. You okay. Make the motion. I'll second it. I'll make that motion. You want to clarify it again? Uh, I, I I will uh, make the motion that uh, authorization for county commissioner to sign off on the 2018 comprehensive plan for adult community corrections. Uh, with approval of the uh, community adult community corrections advisory board at tomorrow's meeting and the FY18 behavioral health plan and the FY18 behavioral health plan. Sorry. I second that motion, Mr. Chairman. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Pass Do we need to sign anything for? I can take? just have Jeff sign it Wednesday, and. Um, well, you can announce it tonight or tomorrow at the meeting. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. yeah. Which, yeah, so I'll about. just have him sign it tomorrow, which should be good. He's going to attend tomorrow, and then they appointed me, so then you'll have to get with me okay. when the next meeting's over and stuff. All right, I can do that. So, all right, unless you guys have anything else of me, I'm going to let you go. Okay. Uh, Thank you. You had mentioned that you lost a person. That yeah, to, yesterday was his last day, but he's working part-time until we get somebody hired. I see. So that, unfortunately, hadn't been a priority because I've been trying to get the, the comp plan done and get the finances to Leavenworth. Um, so I got that sent off this morning. They've been a lot better working with them on that stuff. They used to make us have everything turned in by the 10th. And um, we're just like, you know, as long as I get it by, you know, the 24th, the 25th, we're good. So they've been a lot easier to work with with that. Do you feel that the judges would be more uh, <laughs> willing to consider going with Leverman County with the change of the director, or do you feel they still want to keep it separated? I think they still want to keep it separate. separated. I mean, okay. you'd have to ask. Them I didn't know. I didn't know how much of that was for the former director. No, I. Okay, well, yeah. we'll just leave it like it is. Okay. Then. okay. All right. Well, have a good day, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks. You. Okay, we're jumping all over here on this uh, agenda item. Uh, Seth, is he actually coming in? Okay, we can wait on him then. Uh, is there any new business before the board? And then any old or unfinished business before the board? You got a hold of Shepherds, I presume, and everything's all right with that? I, I did contact Nancy Shepherd, and I told her that uh, the road is considered open, that I believe they will 
uh, township will make that a minimum maintenance. Actually, have they'll have to come to us and get approval on that. Uh, and I didn't give any specifics on what the appraiser figures were I told her that the appraiser will be sending a letter shortly telling you know the specifics of what changes will be on their taxes so and I haven't heard anything more back she thanked me for for notifying her and was, that's all the I hadn't had any further correspondence with them told me up in the courtroom that they started River Road, they've got it ground and they're starting to pack it and stuff and said so far it's good and said it looked like about a six week project. I didn't think it'd take that long. I didn't think it'd take that long. I think Matt estimated what, two to three weeks, but he's saying six weeks. Depends on the base and culvert replacement, probably weather allowance too. We're in Rain yeah, the, years. yeah, we're supposed to get six, eight inches of rain, possibly. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of rain. Delays a lot of stuff. Uh, he said, Mr. Schwarzer, give his notice that he's retiring. He can't. I don't know when. He, I think he said last Friday, I believe, but don't quote me on that. And he's got. Uh, <clears throat> here he comes. Enough chairs. If there's not enough, we can put some more out. I think we're good. Michelle, you want to send that uh, sign, sign, sign up around to them too? Well, you can, you oh, come up to the big chair. You're up. <laughs> Hello, students. Hi, Having a good time? Hi. Yeah. Did you get the cookies and punch before you come in? <laughs> I just told the uh, form or the commissioners that you told me that Kent Swarcer officially give his retirement notice last Friday, I believe. Yeah, Mr. Swarcer gave his notice last Friday. He will be with us two more months when he's going to retire. So two months. Okay, I give his uh, time. I'll have to fill his position here within a month or so. We'll yeah. Fill that position. They can train with him and. We got some new blade operators going. We have two current blade oh, operators. Oh, I don't know if we have after him, so we got maybe four. We're gonna start getting trained um, on that, so uh, we'll make that good transition 15. at that time. Um, so we currently have one opening. We'll have two openings. Uh, Tony Jackson's also leaving us, so oh, I hadn't heard um, that. He's gonna transfer out to the transfer station, um, so we'll get his position filled also, and I. Uh, New operator on his roof. Don't we have to legally open that job open? It was. Oh, it was? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, also, I'm here today about the 10 hour days, swapping over May 1st. I think there's questions on it last week. I'm here to clarify those questions. Uh, Commissioner Sheely is really one that was asking about the um, availability of like somebody to take phone calls and things like that. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you've got, you, you know, you've got a mix of hourly I guess your salary but you know I think in the past as your predecessor you know we had some it, it seemed like nobody's around to answer any questions but it's not like Correct. somebody's available to take phone calls but you know the public has a I just want to make sure somebody's accessible for yes I either my phone in the office takes voicemails they email me that I have a voicemail I call in okay the voicemails that uh, the Knox Suite office also has our phone ringing through them uh, so Jessica will be there on Fridays or Connie, whoever's okay, there. Okay, good. Still so somebody else will be there. So okay. they can still take those phone calls and they plan to take those phone calls. Good. If there's work to be done, it's just going to be like a weekend. I'll call around. Usually I check with the guys before they go on a weekend or if I'm out of town. Make sure there's people around. More times than not, I always have somebody willing to work some overtime to come in to take care of those tasks. So, um, 
really hasn't been an issue in the past. Uh, every weekend since I've been here, there's been something that's been taken care of. So. Okay. Um, Commissioner Bodenhausen brought up a good point, and I think we're still doing it. <clears throat> Let's say uh, normally we take Fridays off, but let's say it rains Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Do And in the past, I think, if we know there's a rain day, that's the day we take off, and then they come in on Friday or not. Yeah, I've never done that. Uh, normally, oh, if we, we have a rain day, what we utilize that day is our catch-up day. So usually in asphalt season, that's all we're doing. If we get a rain day, we have that opportunity to haul rock, lay roads, fix equipment. Uh, so we utilize that day on that. Um, I've been told, you know, maybe we should suggest having Fridays, but coming on Monday and then we have rain day Wednesday, it's kind of hard to get those guys to change their Friday schedules, knowing that, you know, they schedule everything on Fridays for that reason. They know they have it all. So to get guys to come in on Friday with Friday. As, long as, as long as you can have them doing something. Like, I mean, we, we got stuff. plenty of work to do on rain days. So Setting out trying to pick the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, also, I have a PO here for Swabby Engineers for the Science Project Engineering. Uh, <coughs> that is something that will be reimbursed yeah. back from the state. Uh, we'll make the initial payment of $10,123.81. I was going to ask you about it. What's the status on that? I mean, um, In the final phases of the plans, it okay. should still be letting in June or July. Okay, so you think get that this sign up sheet year at some point? Oh, it was, it was out okay. there. Under construction. Okay. So. And they won't get, give an estimate of like how long it would take they don't that have company. <laughs> I don't know if they like did like so many working days like they typically do. Uh, they do. I don't know if the state has actually set those working days yet. They'll look at the final plans and then set okay. those. What did uh, I know? There was at least one road, maybe two, that you said that they were not going to do because of engineering with was that railroad tracks? Yep. Do you have a solution for that? Are we doing those well, like I, on our own or? That was my plan. Okay. Based the the plans are made of them. Sure. So sure. what I'm going to do is just. Take the plans that the engineer had already drawn up. Okay. Do all or buy all the signs we need. Okay. And then have my employees put the signs per engineer spec. So. Okay. Did you want to see that? Uh, I like to give the students a little information. Uh, we meet here on Tuesdays. We normally have what we call workshop from ten to noon, but with today we're just kind of doing it all at once, so you can actually see some meeting. And then we go into open session. That's when we uh, make motions and we can vote on open sessions. I represent uh, the eastern and the southern part of Atchison City and then Walnut, Mount Pleasant, and part of center. That's my district. It goes that way. Uh, I've served uh, four years and got reelected, so I'll be here for four more years. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, from Effingham and I serve the westernmost part of the county and then end of everything north outside of the city limits uh, Shannon Lancaster Benton Grasshopper Capioma uh, did I leave any out? townships are all in my my uh, area that I cover district 2 I'm Jeff Sheely I live here in Atchison and uh, I'm in the uh, middle of my second term so start of like year 7 and uh, if you're upstairs, uh, and that's my resignation, so uh, the process with that is uh, um, I'm on the Republican Party, so they have to convene with uh, the precinct people of that district, and so tonight they will nominate my replacement, and that goes to the governor, and the governor has to appoint it within, I think, typically seven days. I gotta sign that. So. Hmm. I gotta sign that. I graduated in 91 from I haven't signed the past yet. So I know there's no way from the other day, but. I, I'd failed to say that uh, I've been on for just two years. I'd got appointed to take uh, Mike Bodenhausen's uh, place uh, two years ago in March, and then I filled his unexpired term. And then I had to run for office there last fall, and I was elected for a four-year term. So it's just starting my full first full four-year term. Okay, uh, back to matters at hand. There uh, is there any other discussion on this signage, PO? Okay, do I hear a motion to accept the PO in the amount of $10,123.81 uh, presented by the Road and Bridge for get, the signage to Schwab Eaton? Will we get cost share of that at 80%? Be reimbursed completely. Or oh, all of it? It would be 
Eighty percent. Yeah. I make that motion, Mr. Chairman. We. I'll second that. Okay, it's been moved and accepted. Seconded to accept. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Passed. Three zero. Project on the review. Sorry. We're replacing like some posts, so I know you're like replacing stuff Sorry. gradually with like get it approved. Mm -hmm. Did you get the uh, total bill on two tenth road and give it to the state for uh, final payment? Do the asphalt work down there. Oh, okay, you're waiting on that. Okay. <laughs> Did I have the approval to switch to nine mm -hmm. days? Then? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if you need to make a motion on that. Sorry. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that May 1st we go to 10 hour days at the Road and Bridge. It's been moved. Is there a second? I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded to go to May 1st for uh, Road and Bridge uh, time schedule. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Yeah. Pass 3 0. That's where uh, the road and bridge, instead of working eight hours, five days, we feel we get more working uh, four, ten hour days. And they start earlier, and, you know, in the heat of the day. And it's been, seemed to have been working out good. So, yeah, <laughs> Get the work, Seth. Yeah. Is that good, is that good enough? Yeah. Thank you all. Hey, hey, I got one other thing. I got the website up. Was um. <coughs> Eric said that you won that uh, burger up. Uh, so if you want to like roll a uh, uh, we're going to have to go through Stacy all of these wants uh, uh, documents so like to you may have to and then we'll share some money or looking to uh, see what's going on what uh, here's our so regular that. meeting okay. so what we're yeah. following all right. all right. uh, okay, I got it already up. okay here's the okay. agenda right. for today so what you're seeing is uh, Seth Howard who's, who came in at uh, 11 or approximately we just went through so this is an agenda so you can go through it see it every day um, and uh, if you miss the commission meeting, if I can go back and just mouse it over that way. If you go up to Archive Center, you should be able to find any of the minutes that, uh, any of the meetings we have, we have to record um, actual minutes and they are here so back to the 2017. So, show me YouTube video right now. I this up in a while, but it's full. Where he teams up last week. Yeah. So uh, probably at the end of the day, you'll ha uh, we'll have our meeting up on our YouTube page, um, as well as social media. Our social media is typically posted up through Facebook, Twitter. I'm not sure what else we have it on, but you can follow the whole link. So. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, students. Thank you. Thank you. And you too, Seth. Jeff. Uh, do you want to, since that uh, PO for Martin's Trash has been lingering so long? We got the next group coming in. Okay. Or well, uh, do you want to? Does Stacy need to sign off on that? How does the? the do you want to inform her that we've approved it? Okay. I'll, I'll let her know today. Okay. I think it's. I put that in here. I think everything's in the packet. I'll give that to her. Because she had contacted me last week about it, and I was hadn't made contact with. You might. Can you? No, I talked to her a little bit up there in the courtroom this morning. Uh, you might have her get a hold of Martin's because she don't have the equipment to move it and uh, let her know that it will be up to her to make arrangements to get it moved. And where she wants to put it, you know, I think she said at Effingham facility, but that would be up to her. Okay. She'll just need to contact them to get it. Yeah. Uh, is it, has anybody actually seen it? Is does it need to go to have a little fixing up before it gets worse? I don't that think that for what they're going to be doing, I think they're just going to be using it for storage. I stuff see. Okay. It. All right. Well, 
services here. Yeah. You have something for us? No. No? I just had a question for Michelle and I already asked her. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, have you sent the shepherds? Yes, I did, and I got a call back from his daughter. She wanted to know how big the right of way was that he took off, and I told her it was 20 feet along the north property line. And she said that, that he didn't agree with that, so he'll probably go on. You know, I said, well, he has the opportunity to appeal to the next level. I said, but. Uh, uh, I don't think he's going to gain anything by doing that. And she said, well, can somebody come out and look at it? And I said, well, it isn't really a matter of what it looks like. It's a matter of how it's described. And she said that he has a legal description of it. And I said, I read the legal description. And it describes the center line, and it goes along the quarter section line, and it goes on east into the neighboring property, and it's 20 feet on either side of that line. And so she said she was going to go uh, read his legal description. I had and probably advise him on what to do from that point. But I was afraid that this was going to be the next step. Uh, I had uh, sent that to Norm Bowers just before our township meeting there. I read and his Okay. He said it was rock solid, the 20 feet. Yes, and I didn't know whether, uh, well, should I send her that response? Uh, or? I think once she goes back and reads that um, legal description, she may realize that he doesn't have uh, a leg to stand on by proceeding. But if she does want to proceed, then that might be a good thing to do. Okay, uh, Norm, I think, also had put in there, I think there was a uh, configuration that they had figured out what the damages were at that time, and it was like 1.21 acres. Don't, I mean, I, anyway, he had figured out the 20 feet by the, and that's what that came out to. So I thought that that was a good point that on that document that she brought forward, it actually had that listed on there which I had missed when I had looked at it. And so that was actually the, the correct uh, damage at that time. So that was on her document, so. Well, we did the calculations uh, based on what the soil types are and what the use of soil types is being taken out of. I can't remember the exact dollar amount value-wise, but I did a quick calculation based on the smell of it and the value, and it came up to like $3 and something for like the taxes. I think that's what it was. I mean, it was very, I really don't remember the exact number, so I shouldn't be quoting them, but it was very minimal. Mm -hmm. Probably less than it cost them to drive up to the gas. But, you know, I mean, the answer is, I guess, there was a road that never got vacated. Mm -hmm. It hadn't been maintained in years, but it never got vacated. Right, so right. So take it off the parcel. Mm -hmm. on the neighboring property too, but we really can't do the neighboring property until 2018 because they didn't appeal uh, the okay. neighboring property and the property to the north. Okay, I was just curious whether, I, I figured we would hear more from that, so. So we'll see if they appeal to the next level. They, they really don't have a big case. So. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, is there any other business that we have in front of us besides just approving the bills and expenditures? That's all I have on the agenda. I guess we're in no hurry to Mrs. sign up. Mrs. Cochran, we're going to wait. Mrs. Cochran, Marge Cochran. What about Did you, you get all of I talked to her, yeah. But we not. I'd say that we got proof that it was a road, so we're saying yes, it is a road. Now we have proof that it's 20 feet on those, sure. and that's what we cut off the taxes. I'm not in favor of cutting the whole 40 foot if it's not off of them. And if no. they want to appeal for that, that's their right to do so. Yeah. 
I think that's I think we're on extremely good legal footing and moral footing everything I mean that's what was originally set up as yeah I would agree so uh, yeah they can appeal it there's avenues that they can go through if they don't feel that that's correct I mean we really as a board didn't decide anything I mean we're just agreeing that the appraiser you know uh, has that that right so we're not really an arbiter of the decision and then, and then that township is going to come in and ask us to declare that amendment maintenance road yes I'm, I'm sure they that they will need to do that right away now. well it'll have to wait for them to uh, come forward and, and petition us basically I think it will probably after our meeting with the townships I think there will be quite a few roads that are being they petitioned for some, yeah so I, we I may have think, to I think I think at least two or three in Mount Pleasant Walnut mm -hmm. yeah I think that'll be a, a, a good thing to do and then we'll have to get them signed and sign it the signage correct on them and go forward okay if there's no further business do I hear a motion to adjourn at 11 24 I second mr. chairman it's been moved and seconded all in favor say aye aye, aye. all opposed Pass 3-0.